Welcome, welcome back to Cherokee's channel. You see what it is? It's another cook with me. What are you cooking, sis? I am making me some chicken with bell pepper and cheese quesadillas. Now, I have my, you guys already know what kind of chicken I like to use. And these are on camera, they're different color, but they're the same color. <laughs> I know somebody going to say something about that, but I like to use chicken tenderloins because they are the most tenderest part of the chicken. I keep saying that to you guys over and over and over again. So, I'm going to be cutting this off and I'm going to be cutting them into little strips. You will see once I put them in a the skillet and have them fried. Then we're going to go ahead and chop up uh, some red and green bell pepper. So let's go ahead and let's chop up this meat and bell pepper. Okay, you guys, now that we have the chicken all sliced and diced into little cubes, I like mine's really small. I don't like big pieces in my quesadillas. We have our red bell pepper chopped up and our green ones. So let's go ahead and get all this to the skillet and get all happy together. Okay, and the seasonings I will be using is garlic powder, parsley flakes, black ground pepper, red crushed pepper for spice, and taco seasoning. I did have chicken seasoning, but I already used it. So let's go ahead and get this over into the skillet and get all happy together. Oh, and of course, butter. Okay, you guys hear the butter getting all happy? You already know. Don't scratch up them new pans, sis. I might have to put a little bit more butter as I go. So, let's go ahead and put in Our meat and bell peppers. I won't be draining anything because I'm using butter. Okay? When you do your quesadilla and fold it all up, you'll be using butter, right? So first we're going to start with garlic powder. This is how I make my quesadillas. You guys seen how strong mommy Chrissy made hers for Bay when he went to work that day. But to me, I don't know if he... Maybe he doesn't like bell pepper and, you know, all that, but this will get your quesadillas cracking. It's the bell peppers, spiciness, not too much. You don't want it too hot. And as you go, you might have to add in butter. That's fine. Okay, like right now, I'm about to add in a little butter. How else is it supposed to cook if it's not moist, right? Right. And at the end, I will be putting in the taco seasoning. It doesn't take this meat long at all. That's why I love, love chicken tenderloins, you guys. And I can't keep telling you guys enough about the chicken tenderloins. If you guys have not tried it, please try it. And thank me later. I mean, that's the most, most tenderest part of the chicken breast with the bone. Not the regular chicken breast without bone. I'm talking about the one with the bone. 
and you get to the back and you got that that long strip like that that's the chicken tenderloin part it's already looking good let me bring it close to you man look how they look yes like I said it does not take this chicken long to cook at all the only thing that really has to cook is the bell pepper if you like yours a little bit crunchy like I do then is that's okay so let's go ahead and put in our taco seasoning can you guys see okay this is my lunch and my dinner my daughter is already gone to work and she already has her lunch that she's going to eat for today and when i mean by my daughter you guys because the subscriber was like oh your your little daughter that's why she took her channel down because your daughter moved back home <laughs> sweetie i have three daughters i'm sorry i forgot uh you must have forgot so let's go ahead and add a little butter in with that do you add water? No, ma'am. You can add a little. I might add a little so it won't be salty, which is not going to be salty because none of these seasonings over here have salt in it, period. But you do want your quesadilla to have flavor. Okay. Now let me show you what it's looking like again with the seasoning in it taco seasoning bomb I don't think you hear me though let me show you close up I don't think you heard me closely you see how that's looking that's how your quesadilla meat should look well <laughs> I know mine's up over here I don't know about yours up over there but let's go ahead and get the quesadillas cooking. Let's go ahead and put it all together. Now that the chicken and bell peppers is happy. Okay, you guys. I had to whip out the old school skillet. What you going to start off with first is butter. You already know. Now, this one I can use the fork because it's already scratched up. So... Turn your fire down if it's a bit too high. Okay. Now what you're going to do is these are the flour shells that I use. Okay. What you're going to do is just go ahead and place that in your skillet. And this is the cheese I'm using. The mild cheddar. And I'm only using one one shell one tortilla shell okay you put it on half and what you're going to do is you're going to take your meat and you're going to place it on top just like that on top of the cheese And what you're going to have to do now is put a little bit more cheese on top of your meat. I love a lot of cheese. That's what seals your quesadilla together. Okay. Let me go ahead and rinse this off. Clean. Now you fold your quesadilla. And I like mine's burnt. Just like that. Yes. I love the crispiness of it. Mm. 
burnt on one side, beautiful on the other. So now that that is done, let's go ahead and plate. And there you have it. My cheese, chicken, red and green bell pepper, quesadillas. The way I make mine. Get into it. You see that? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Now I'm going to have some sour cream and jalapenos. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys like quesadillas, this is my favorite to go to. Look at that. When I don't feel like cooking a lot. I'll see you guys on the next Cook With Me. Bye-bye. This is dinner tonight. Salad. Kale salad.